right, looks like we're now broadcasting. So welcome everybody to today's webinar. Um, I'm gonna take just a few more seconds for people to jump right in. Um, I've also noticed that with everyone using Zoom right now, things have slowed down a bit. So I hope you can hear me all right, but I think Zoom is just overloaded right now with so many people using this platform. Um, I think we'll still have a great webinar today. So welcome, I see a lot more people jumping in. Welcome everybody. We're gonna start here in just a few seconds. Just wanna wait for everybody so they don't miss the beginning. We'll get started here in just a few more seconds. Great. Just for you popping in right now, I wanna remind you that you can use the Q&A portion for any questions you have. I will answer those towards the end. Great. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me just clear this again. If you have any questions, please feel free to submit them. I'll be sure to answer them for you. But let's go ahead. All right, so welcome to today's webinar for STEM Audio. My name is Ryan Root. I am the Director of Marketing here. I'm at our STEM Audio headquarters here in Irvine, California. And today we're gonna to talk about conference room preparedness. So I'd imagine that most, if not all of you, are sitting at home right now. Hopefully you've made yourself comfortable in your home offices. Um, but yes, things have changed quite a bit. So with that, we wanted to come to you with a webinar that reaches you where you're at, and not only that, but also sets you up for success for the day you get back into the office. So really the purpose today is I want to help you get ahead and give you the tools to do things right now while you're at home. Maybe you're, you're an IT professional who doesn't have access to their office right now, and with that, you need to do something right now. This is a great way to basically follow our three-step process to design, order, and install your rooms um, before you even get back into the office. So I'm gonna take a seat here. Again, I'll remind everybody that we do have a Q&A. If you're familiar with Zoom, you can just click that button in the bottom, submit any questions you have. I'll be sure to answer those towards the end. But we have about 27 minutes here. I have quite a bit to share with you, um, but you're going to find out that everything we do here, um, and it's a bit of a workshop, so that's going to be a cool aspect of this webinar, probably unique to this one um, than any other one you've been to, is we're going to design our rooms together, so you have the freedom to jump on um, our website, and that's going to be the first step with STEM audio. Now, I want to briefly talk about the current state. As, as I mentioned, I, I'd imagine most of you are at home right now, uh, and really everyone's at home um, on a global scale. I had a meeting with, um, with a partner in Norway this morning. They're doing the same thing. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a global pandemic for a reason. So everyone is at home, and, and with that, I'm sure if you're an IT professional, you've been scrambling for the last couple of weeks to get your organization up and running for remote work, whether that's getting everyone a laptop or setting them up with a camera and audio, um, or really even maybe it's video conferencing and maybe your organization isn't familiar with a platform like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. And, and with that, there's tons of training. So I imagine there have been some headaches in the last couple of weeks to get that all up and running. Now, with that said, we kind of look forward, look forward into the future of where, where are we headed, right? Um, I think the next steps, uh, you know, just the conversations I've had with a lot of people are there's going to be a slow return to the office. I don't think we're going to wake up one day and everyone is getting in their cars and going back to the office. Um, traffic would be a nightmare here in Southern California if that was the case. So I'm hoping for a gradual um, return to the office. But with that said, as people are slowly returning to the office, we want to give you the tools right now to help design and when employees get back in the office, you can jump right into getting your rooms up and running with video conferencing. Um, a, a friend this morning sent me an email um, that had some Gartner um, research done that 74% of businesses expect to permanently 
um, shift to remote work on some scale. Um, maybe they've realized that some departments can work just as effectively at home, but with this, there's only one way to communicate, um, and that's either audio or video conferencing. And we're seeing that there's just a massive spike in video conferencing. It's even come out to, um, to a scale of uh, virality um, with social media and Zoom is a common household name where I, I don't think that was the case a month ago. So really interesting shifts happening. Um, but again, the next three steps that I share with you is going to set you up for what you can do right now in order for the day you get back in your office, whenever that may be, you can get your rooms up and running with STEM audio. So the first thing is I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna jump into the design process. Now this is something that you can do with me right now. You can actually jump on to a web browser, type in stemaudio.com and design your room as I'm designing the room that I'm in right now. This is one of our large conference rooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. It looks like you'll be able to see it right now. Just wanna remind everybody if you, if you joined us late, um, welcome. I see questions coming in. I will be sure to answer those to the best of my ability um, at the end. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see now, I'm sharing my screen with you. I'm at stemaudio.com. I'll give you a few more seconds to jump on there if you want to design your rooms with me at the same time. Um, you'll, you'll find it's a very quick process. Um, and the first step to this is clicking this get started button here in the top right hand corner. So once we click get started, it's going to take us to our room design tool. And this is something again that you can do right now and get ahead. And the reason we created room design is because when we are doing our research, you know, the, this, the tutorial just pops up when you arrive to room design, feel free to skip it because basically I'll be giving you this tutorial right now in person. So back to why we created room design. When we were doing research, for STEM audio, we found out that one of the biggest pain points of our customers is that they didn't know exactly what to put in their room. So we wanted to take away all the guesswork and create a tool that allows you to design your room within a very short amount of time. You'll see here, we could probably do it within a minute or two. Design our room, drop in devices. We're gonna drop in STEM ecosystem devices and see the coverage estimate to know that what we're purchasing is going to be right for our rooms. You know, this is getting away from you purchasing something, crossing your fingers that once you install it, it's going to perform the way you want it to. Now we can take that out of the equation and have a tool right here for you to get started. So the first step, if you're right here with me, is we're going to click walls over here on the right hand side. And then we are going to, we have some options here. There's a lot of customization options that's part of just our mantra here at STEM Audio. What I'm going to do is speed up the process a bit and I can just enter the dimensions of the room I'm in, length and width. We'll go 30 by 15. That's roughly the size of the room I'm in right now. And all I have to do is click build walls and it snaps into place right there. So once you've done that, we're going to drop in the furniture. As you can see, I have a table here that fits about 15 people. So I click the add table button. Then I click into the middle of the room and it drops it in. And then I can add just by clicking this plus button, I can increase the size of that room. Great, so now I have my table. I basically built my room in a few seconds. And now what I'm trying to do is figure out what audio devices I need for the room that I'm in right now. So I click devices and I can start with the table device. I'll drop that in right here in the middle and instantly it is going to show me the coverage of that device. You're gonna see that darker shaded area. That's going to be your optimal coverage. That lighter shaded area with the larger circle, that's going to be your variable coverage, depending really on the acoustic treatment you've done to that room you're in. You can rest assured that the darker shaded area is going to be the best pickup um, and then variable, just again, depending on how well you've acoustically treated your room. So you get an idea there. Now, I wanna make sure this room is sounds great. Um, as we did here, I'm going to add a few more devices. So I'm going to click on ceiling and drop that here into the back. And I'm going to take a wall device as I have in this room right now, and I'm gonna click it into the front of the room. So right there, I can see the total coverage, estimated coverage of all the devices that I have in this room right now. And now I know what I need for my conference room. 
And also the beauty of this is there's no limit. Actually, just this morning, I, I, I receive a lot of these emails when people send in room designs um, just so we can help you guys out with any questions you have. 30 people or 30 rooms were created um, by one person this morning. Um, and these are people we're working with that are trying to set up, you know, their plan for the day they get back into the office. So this is going to be a way um, for you to have all of your rooms designed and ready to go. There's absolutely no limit. You can create a thousand rooms if you want, um, spend plenty of time doing these. Um, as you can see also here on the left side of the screen is it's, it's automatically created a bill of materials for you. So you can see that a hub has been automatically added to this room. And that's because if you're familiar with the STEM ecosystem, when you have more than one audio device, you need a hub to process those, um, those multiple audio signals. Now, all these audio devices in this room are connected via one single ethernet cable that's providing it with power and data. They're sending their individual audio signals over the network. They're not connected to one another directly, and they're sending that to the hub, which is processing that directly to the PC in the room, which is how you're hearing me right now. All right, so we've created our room in a matter of minutes. What do we do next? You have two options. You can save your design. It'll actually include a bill of materials. You can do that right now. And once you've saved your design, it, you'll, you'll have a PDF you can download. This is something you can use if you're you know, trying to get approval from a higher up. If you need a quote, this will create that as well. But the other option is buy now. And just by clicking buy now, what you're able to do is enter your email address. I will enter mine. and view my cart. So now that I've created that, it's going to automatically add these devices into my cart. And then I'm ready to go. The next step is all just to order your devices right here at the bottom. And these are going to be ready for you the second that you're uh, back into your office. Great, so we've covered design. That's really step one. What is step two? Step two is going to be ordering. We've ordered our devices, that is step two, we're good to go. Third step is installation. So let me, I'll stop sharing before we go into the STEM ecosystem platform. And as you can see me here, let's say I just ordered my devices, great. Now, all I have to do is go get them. So, I waited a few days. Now my devices are arriving. This is the box that you can expect your devices to arrive in. Good to go. All right, so we have all four of our boxes here. These are the exact devices I have installed into this room. And what's the process look like? So I have my boxes. I open them up, I have my devices. I bring them into my room and I do two things. I either place them where they need to go, you're going to place table right in the middle of the room, or you're going to mount your devices. I have wall, STEM wall is mounted right below the monitor right in front of me. And STEM ceiling, as you can see, is mounted right here above me. So once I've mounted my devices, all I have to do is connect that single ethernet cable and then they're on the network. But there's this next step, which is how we assign the devices to the room. And now for the first time ever, I'm going to show you live on how to assign devices to a room. So I'll share my screen once more and we'll jump into STEM Audio's conference room ecosystem platform. So now I'm here on the platform and the first thing it's going to do is ask me for a password. How did I get to this page? What I did is I typed in the IP address of any one of your devices. Any IT professional knows how to do that. Once you have typed in the IP address, you arrive to this page. If this is the first time, it's going to ask you to create an organization and enter a password. We've already created an organization. I will just enter our password and now I'm in. So here I've entered into the STEM ecosystem platform. Now this is a place where I can manage all of my rooms and see them all in one place. Now to assign the devices in this room, let's say I just brought them into this room, I just connected them, they're on the network but they're not they're not assigned to this room quite yet. I'm going to click ecosystem, I'm going to click rooms, 
And from here, I'm going to add a new room. This is me creating a brand new room. For this, I can name my room whatever I want. Today's webinar. There we go. And from here, I'm going to add devices. Now, the second I connected these devices to the network, they booted up and now I can see them directly here. All I have to do is select the devices that I have connected to the network. I select all four, check mark. It pairs all these devices together in the same room, goes through a pairing process, and now we're good to go. Today's webinar room is now set up, green lights all around, beautiful. That's the whole process. So what we've gone through is designing, ordering, and installing. All in those three steps really gives you the freedom to install your own room, place your devices anywhere you want, and once you've done that, you assign them to the room and you're up and running and good to go. Now, I think we've reached the point where we're going to take questions. Uh, that was a pretty quick process. Um, I am going to now take a look at questions and we can dive into really anything you want to find out about the ecosystem. I know there's a lot of questions. Maybe it's something that I didn't cover today, but you know about the ecosystem. I'd be happy to answer that as well. I, I see some comments here rather than questions about how great the room sounds. That's great feedback. Thank you for that. Um, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, so I see a question here about um, Dante support. So I will mention that our STEM hub, which again is the device you use when you have multiple audio devices in a room, that is going to be the Dante connectivity will be on the hub along with Phoenix connectors for external speakers and an additional USB uh, for connecting your device to the, um, to the PC. Uh, if I didn't answer that question completely, I just want to remind everybody here that you can contact customer service. Um, I know Will is excited and waiting for you to reach out to him. He is our head of customer happiness, so he can answer any questions you have about the ecosystem if I don't get to them today. Well, let me continue to go down the line here. Um, so I have a question about uh, direct ordering. Now, I, I want to mention that with ordering, you know, we also have three ways really where you can do this though. You can order directly on our website, but we also have a great list of integrators, uh, distributors, depending on who you are and what you're looking for. Uh, if you reach out to us, you can reach out customer service. Um, their email address is customer service at stemaudio.com. We can connect you with whoever you're looking to um, work with um, around the world. So that the, the same goes for international partners, um, international integrators or end users. If you have an interest in STEM audio, um, we can connect you with the right person. Um, direct ordering on our website is only available in the US. Um, so if you are international, that is, uh, we can connect you with the right distributor, integrator um, elsewhere. You just have to reach out to us and uh, we'll take care of you. Um, all right, let's see more questions here. Let me dismiss a few of these. Is there a dialer interface? Um, there is. So the STEM ecosystem does have SIP capabilities. Um, and as you can see right here, I have a, an Android tablet. Um, we also have STEM control, which will be available um, at the latest July 4th. We are working, you know, there are challenges with COVID right now. Uh, but we are working to get that out sooner. So you can access the SIP dialer on all these platforms through the STEM ecosystem. So what I did is I showed you the STEM ecosystem on the HTML platform. And it's also available on Android, iOS with iPad, can also, there's a Windows app version. There's a lot of different ways you can access the STEM ecosystem platform. But one of the major advantages of STEM control and also these tablets right here is this where we can access our video conferencing software. Um, you can make it look like it's just like a Zoom room to where people don't even know you're using the STEM room. And it does have a dialer interface as well. Um, and yes, it does have it on the PC uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, even on this HTML version, um, sharing your screen, I can toggle over between dialer and uh, video conferencing. 
okay, when do you need the control panel? Now, uh, I'll mention that our stem control, uh, you don't have to use it. Um, it. It's just, you know, an advantage to use all devices that are on the stem ecosystem. But I also mentioned that it's compatible with um, other platforms like Android, iOS. Um, you don't necessarily need it, but it is a very easy way to manage your organizations, to run your video conferencing, again, to use the dialer. Um, it comes in handy a lot, but it is not a requirement of the STEM ecosystem. Um, I have a question about PoE or PoE Plus. That's a great question. Um, the STEM ecosystem runs on PoE Plus, so you need to make sure that you're outfitted for that. Um, and a simple PoE injector with PoE Plus will get the job done. And I, I, you know, the feedback that we've received when we were doing our research on this is that that's becoming the new standard. Um, it, it, it's the future of PoE, PoE Plus. So um, we wanted to make sure that we were ready for that shift. Um, all right, what else here? A lot of great questions, guys. I see, see them still coming in. Um, I'll try to answer as many as I can in the next nine minutes. I, I want to be conscious of your time. Um, but we, we ran through that pretty quickly um, with designing our rooms. Hopefully, you were able to design your room. If not, feel free to jump on there and continue to do that. Um, and yeah, OK, let's see what other questions we have here. You know, I have some more technical technical questions here. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't have um, the highest level of technical knowledge. And these are the things that I'm going to refer to our um, customer service team for. And they will get back to you with answers. I can assure you on that. Um, so anything about um, supporting static IP assignment, um, you know, with those technical questions, I will refer those um, to our customer service team. All right, I see uh, questions about purchasing here. Uh, again, just reach out to us, our sales team, our customer service team, they will help you with anything about purchasing um, and um, working through our other channels. Um, all right, so what else? I see a question about pickup range, which I think is one we get a lot. Um, it's very common for our space um, for people to wonder, okay, what is the exact number of feet for, um, for picking up a STEM table unit or a STEM wall or STEM ceiling. And I think it's important to point out that it's really irrelevant with STEM. When you, when you compare it to a competitor product, um, you know, any general microphone or maybe a, an all-in-one, you're really limited by what kind of room you can put these devices in. Typically you say like, this is a huddle room audio solution. But with STEM, we completely stay away from that because there is this scalability aspect is you can just add more devices to your room and it doesn't matter about how many feet one device picks up. Um, you can continue to add devices to pick up any number of people in a room. And let's see here, more questions. Oh, great, I have a question about dimensions in feet versus meters. Um, I did not mention that. I can actually share my screen again, um, and we can jump to the, the um, room design. You can see it there. Um, on, on the STEM room design uh, platform, you can toggle between imperial and metric. So if you are outside of the US, um, I know we're crazy here. I think 99% of the world uses um, the metric system. So um, we did create that to where you can design your rooms um, in meters as well. So let's see what else we have. I see dimensions are in feet, so we're good there. Um, do we ship to Ireland? Um, yes, we do. Again, um, please reach out or we'll have someone reach out to you um, to kind of go into the details of who we have working there and who can uh, service you. Um, all right, what else? Yes, so I have questions about mounting the wall unit. I'm asking if, um, if it can be mounted on the long wall instead of under the screen. Absolutely, and again, this speaks back to the customization aspect of the STEM ecosystem, is you can just mount a device to the wall. Um, you can place these devices anywhere you want, and we even have some optimization features with the STEM ecosystem where they will optimize to the room based on where you place them. So you can mount wall on any of the walls in the room. It doesn't have to be mounted above or below a monitor. Um, as long as it's connected to the network and assigned to the room it's in, it's going to perform. Okay. 
let's see. Yes, questions about recordings. We will be sending a recording of this um, webinar just in case you missed the beginning. Um, so I, I will make sure we send that out to you. Um, it should be to you within about 24 hours. Um, you'll see an automated email from Zoom as well. So I have questions about supporting audio output or do we need to install speakers? So I think it's important to know that STEM wall and STEM table have built in speakers and they're quite impressive too. Um, in this room, all the speakers we have are these two devices and it fills the room great. Uh, STEM wall even has a subwoofer in the background for a really deep sound. Um, you know, we're in the microphone business, but we, we built these out to have very high quality speaker sound as well. Um, STEM ceiling is a hundred microphone array. It does not have speakers built into it. So when it comes to, let's say you have a room where you're going to install one STEM ceiling or even three STEM ceilings, you're still going to need that speaker output. Um, you can connect um, external speakers to the STEM hub through the Phoenix connectors and that is going to enable you to have that complete experience in your room. Okay, let me continue to dismiss these questions. I see more questions coming through. I'm trying to get as many as I can um, in the short time we have. So I'm gonna to continue to dismiss these. Um, Microsoft Teams full support question mark. We are compatible with Zoom, Microsoft Teams. At the end of the day, you know, I'm talking about the STEM hub connecting to your PC via USB that becomes a USB solution. And whatever you're using, you can use any video conferencing you want. STEM audio is going to work. Um, it, it works the same way that any, any uh, USB audio would work with your PC. The only difference is STEM hub is pulling your audio uh, over the network from your devices. Um, okay. Um, yeah, someone was asking if I can move around, of, of course. Um, I think that's definitely an important question. If you're wanting to hear how multiple devices perform um, with one another, you know, remind you that all three of these devices are connected to the network. They're not connected to one another. And they're sending these signals to the hub. So as I move around the room, each micro, there's 124 microphones within these three devices in total. And as I move around the room, they're deciding where my voice sounds the best. If I'm up here, wall's gonna pick me up more than STEM table. And then as I walk back to the corner of the room, STEM ceiling is going to pick me up more than any other device. Getting my alarm going off saying that we are close to the end, so I will continue to answer as many questions as I can. If I don't get to your question, um, we will reach out to you and help out, but you can feel free to call us um, or email customer service. Their email again is customer service at stemaudio.com. Be happy to answer your questions there. Okay, so I've moved around. Let's see what other questions we have. With better audio performance, should the room acoustics considered? So absolutely, I mean, say, um, with any room, you should really consider your um, acoustic treatment. Um, that is going to, more often than anything else, that is going to affect your audio quality. Now, the performance of STEM audio is very impressive, and you can get by with great audio quality in a room without additional acoustic treatment, but you are always going to experience the best audio when you have acoustically treated your room. It's a nightmare for anyone when your room has a, um, an echo or reverberation due to, let's say, glass walls or hard surfaces. So it's definitely an important thing to remember. Let's see, what else do we have here? I'm, I'm just a few seconds away, so I'm gonna answer one more question Then we're gonna have to end today's webinar. But again, I wanna thank everybody for stopping by. Um, is it possible to have a demo unit? Um, so we do not ship out demo units. What we do is we offer you to purchase directly on our website. Um, so that is going to be the quickest way for you to receive um, a unit for you to test. And we see this all the time. You know, maybe you have a 20 room project, but you want to test one device. You just can jump on our website, and purchase it directly. Um, or again, you can work through one of our channel partners. Um, so if you reach out to us and you, that is a preference of yours, we will connect you with whoever um, who you typically work with and get you those STEM audio devices as quickly as possible. Okay, guys.
That is our time. It's now 1030. I want to thank you all again so much for stopping by. We have so much excitement around the STEM audio ecosystem, and we are so excited to share this with you. We constantly have new updates, so please stay in touch with us, whether it's signing up for our newsletter on our website. That is going to be the quickest way you get new information from us, but also on our social media as well. Just search STEM audio on any social platform. That would be, we're not on TikTok, <laughs> so we are on Instagram. Uh, not even Instagram either. We are on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So feel free to connect with us there. Follow us to stay uh, up to date with the latest. But again, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, we'll be in contact. Have a good one.